Life as you know it is over. Not about to be over, but already over. This is what Mo Gaudet, the previous chief business officer of Google X and the author of a book called Scary Smart, recently shared in a talk that he did about the future of AI. Within the same talk, Mo shared three critical skills that will prepare you for the future of AI within the next 12 months. But before we get into what those three skills are, I want to share four words he said in this talk that keep me up at night. The water is boiling. Mo shared that when you take a frog and you put it in boiling water, the frog will immediately jump out because a frog wants to survive. But when you place a frog in cold water and gradually turn up the heat until the water is boiling, the frog will actually realize that the water is boiling too late and they will die. And just like there are the two frogs in this metaphor, there are two types of business owners that I see. The business owners that are sitting in the water that is increasing in heat and have chosen to either be completely unaware of progress in AI or are choosing to pretend that it's not happening as fast as it really is. In the last two weeks, Microsoft, Google, Anthropic, and OpenAI all started to talk about AI agents and a feature called computer use. These are autonomous AI agents that will be able to do work, build websites on their own with just your initial prompt. And then there are the business owners like you that are realizing that the water is boiling and you're doing everything in your power to prepare for the future of AI, or at least be as prepared as you can be. Because the harsh reality is, is that no one knows what will happen once we reach the, the theoretical point of singularity, which is a point where AI becomes smarter than any human being on earth. The only thing that's certain is uncertainty. And so if you're feeling a little bit of fear, just know that your body is working the way that it should because as human beings, we feel fear when things are uncertain. And sometimes this fear can be a good thing. It could bring you to sources like this. It could bring us to learn more from experts like Mo. And it could shift our focus to the three skills that Mo says that we should be focused on, especially within the next 12 months. Here are the three skills that Mo Gaudet says that every organization, every human being should be focused on learning, on mastering when it comes to preparing for the future of AI. The first skill is to learn AI, to learn the tools. Mo shares that he dedicates three hours a day to learning AI. I'm not saying that you have to start with three hours a day, but what I am saying is that we are at a stage in the development of AI that you cannot afford to prioritize some amount of time every single day or every single week to learning AI. Pick the amount of time, pick whether you're going to do it daily or weekly, but make the time for it. Don't make excuses. Put it on your calendar. And if you don't know which tools you should even learn, he says that you could always go to something like ChatGPT or Google Gemini and say, hey, I want to improve this particular skill. What are some AI tools that I should know about? ChatGPT or Google Gemini will give you a list of those tools. Those are some of the tools that you should start to use, not just read about. He emphasizes this point by saying that no one taught you how to use PowerPoint. In the same way, the best way is to start interacting with the tools. Learn AI through actually using AI. The second skill to prepare for the future of AI, based on what Mo shared, is to seek the truth. We must train ourselves to question AI. And he gives an example. He says that he went to ChatGPT and he says, what is Mo Gaudet's wife's name? ChatGPT answered the wrong name very confidently and only after the fifth time was it able to give a correct answer and say, I don't know. His warning is, is that these AI tools can come across very clear and confident and that behind the tool is a very bias Californian based view of the world. Learn the tools, use the tools. You also have to question the output of the tools and to think for yourself and to always seek truth. I'm going to provide you with a few prompts that I use just to question these AI tools to see where they get their reasoning from. First is just asking why. So if it gives you an answer, you want to just say why? Why do you say that this is the answer? And what it will do is it will provide you with that reasoning. The second is 
Are you sure this answer is correct? The third is what critical information might be missing? The fourth is can you explain your reasoning step by step? The fifth is how can I independently verify this information? The biggest lesson here related to skill number two, seeking truth, is that don't just take the answer that it gives you blindly. The third skill that Mo highly urges us to focus on is to focus on building human connection. He even goes so far as to say he will not be writing any more books because the AI will be writing them. He will be speaking in person, doing in-person interviews, going to companies and workshops, and doing engagements in person. Mo says, I no longer need to do the task that AI can do better than me. The task I can do better than AI is this, is to be able to see you and to hug you and to say hi, so on and so forth, which is why his number one focus going into the next 12 months and beyond is going to be on fostering in-person human connection. Here are practical ways to do that as a business owner. The first is to attend an in-person networking event every month, every quarter, depending on your schedule, but to not take in-person off of the table, no matter how big you get digitally. The second thing that you could start doing this week is to host a weekly friends or weekly family dinner having real people come over and not letting lack of time or the fact that you want to be a vegetable on the couch or something get in the way of you building connections within your community. The third thing is as simple as a 30-second hug. Studies have shown that people feel more connected when they hug. It's the length of the hug. So if you just hug somebody for a second, it's like whatever. But 30 seconds is almost, in the beginning, uncomfortably long for a hug, but it's been supported through studies and research that 30-second hug can improve the feeling of human connection. The fourth thing, if you have a, a life partner, is to make sure that you're building connection with them. One of the ways to do that could be to go to a weekly or monthly breakfast and to just make sure that you're on the same page for the life that you're building together. And the fifth thing, if you have a podcast, if you have a show, if you're building your personal brand, maybe even start to do in-person podcasts. I don't care if we just film it on the iPhone, but what that's doing is I'm building in-person relationships and I'm doing it through conversation and I'm leveraging it to help other people as well. Don't let your ego get in the way of putting your family in the best possible position for the future. He said in the talk that there were people that said AI was never going to be creative. AI was not going to make music. AI was never going to write. What he predicts is that within the next 12 months, and again, this video was two months ago, so that leaves us with about 10 months, AI models will be 10 times smarter than they are now, which means that their IQ will be over a thousand points. If AI 10Xs in intelligence and IQ points, it's impossible for us to comprehend what it could do. So to say that it can't do something is being the frog in the water. Alex Ramosi was right two years ago when he published this video. Adapt or your business could die.